Hey guys! <laughs> God, that was so funny. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Dallas and I Call It Talk Show, Season 2, Episode 4. Hello, I am Jossie Yandel. And I'm on socials. <laughs> She's on socials. Um, we have a really cool show for you today. We have Jordan Gray, who is currently starring on Comedy Central's Transaction. Really looking forward to speaking to her. And we also have from the other side of, you know, from America. Oh, that and girl. And season 11 of RuPaul's Drag Race, a finalist. Yes, she no was. I was Silky. The one and only Silky Ganache. Yes, I'm very, very excited about that. So first of all, let us get started and just say hi and welcome back. It's been a time. Obviously, we've still yeah. got me, you and the dogs. <laughs> yeah, we have all the dogs here joining us today. Um, and we are really just, we re we're really glad to be back. Um, we are. We it's had been a little time break. Year. Yeah, we, we, we took us a little break, but we're back. So. But we want to share with you why we went on a break. Yeah. So I'm going to be real truth. I had more surgery and um, I had more complications, which of course we'll go on our educational videos on YouTube and tell you more about. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And Jossie, Jossie kind of wavered with mental health. Yeah. It was I, a year for it, wasn't it? I, I had a bit of a year where my mental health, um, it probably wasn't the best it could be, but I talked about it and I cannot stress enough how important it is to talk about it. That's coming from me because there was a time where I would just keep it all to myself. And mental health is something that it, it means a lot to me, it means a lot to Faye, and it means a lot um, to our viewers as well. So. Just always know that we're always here to listen. If anybody's going through a rough patch or wants a little bit of advice, and I'm free. always here to talk, us. obviously. <laughs> yeah, like Faye, honestly, she gives the best advice. She really, really does. I do really try, but you know what? I have to keep doing it, guys, as social because I'm just trying to build our followers and our viewers for what I would call one heck of a welcome back show. <laughs> yeah. So, what's everyone been up to? Of course, Happy New Year, and <coughs> we all you all had a good Christmas. Because it's been that long. Oh god, yeah, January is like 91 days. But we're nearly at the end of it, guys. We are nearly at the end of it. Payday Happy is not Friday. far away. <laughs> hey! Payday is not that far away. So we're here to, of course, give our opinion about real stuff and interview real people talking about their real stuff and what's happening in their lives. So first of all, we want to get started. It's been one hell of a day, and it's been one hell of a night. Look at what <laughs> happened on ITV once again. Ant and Deck won. Oh, again for the 15th year in a row. Um, here's my China's just joined us. <laughs> yeah, Ant and Deck won again for like the 15, 16. RuPaul Drag Race were all over it though. Yeah, oh, big up to the RuPaul girls on there. Like, RuPaul getting nominated, absolutely. We were totally down for that so yes all, all all about that hopefully our first guest will be joining us which looks like it'll be jordan gray who is doing what i can just say the right thing oh yeah she absolutely. is everywhere doing everything and really representing like really representing. oh yeah massively massively representing um <laughs> did you just, just stumble did, yeah i just stumbled there um so we're going to be getting Jordan on very, very soon. But if you have any questions for Jordan, please send them in because I'm on. In. I'm on social, on social. Social. She's social. got that. She's got that. Hello, girls. Hello, Jordan. I'm going to go because we're going to try something different this year as well. We really want to get like a better picture, better quality. And we're going to like start like developing our craft. Yeah. That's it. So I'm going to the cameras like down. So I'll be inviting people on and then vice versa. So Jordan, if you want to request to join us, feel free. I'll go around, I'll accept. It's going to be, in my opinion, one hell of a show, especially if Silky can join us as well, because I just think that's going to be a real topper for today, especially since the new season of RuPaul is coming soon. Oh, I know, we cannot wait. RuPaul is having a year of it. Like, there is so many seasons. Oh, RuPaul's Drag Race RuPaul. um, UK was absolutely amazing and such a success. Yeah, as was AJ and the Queen. Oh, I loved AJ and the Queen. Queen. I let her tell you about AJ and yeah, the Queen I will while tell I you saw about out it. Jordan. So AJ and the Queen is on Netflix and it's a, um, it's like a comedy drama. It's quite like, but it does touch on like really current subjects. Um, in a nutshell, it's about RuPaul um, going across America um, with, the, with the young um, person that he more or less we're not going to say foster but he takes this person under the wing and they have many many adventures there is so many cameos in this show from RuPaul it is insane 
but it, it's nice to see the Queen's working and it's nice to see RuPaul entertaining us, not as a judge, but just entertaining us in a TV show and very, 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 very big fan. If Jordan can just request to come on, Jossie. Uh -huh. And then I'll accept it. I hope we're able to do that. I love being behind the camera. This is quite cool. <laughs> so Josh, you just carry on in action. So just carry on. So what else has been going on? Oh my God. Can we just talk about the masked singer? Like, <gasps> I watched one episode. It's all I could bear. But I think that the Queen Bee is either Charlotte Church or Nicola from Girls Aloud. And I don't really know the others. Oh, John Barrowman and the Unicorn, but the others met. What was Khalees doing on there? Come on, Khalees, Khalees. And Milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. Well, it clearly doesn't now. It was so obvious she was probably just doing that for our kids. But, oh, oh. Well, I'm coming back because coming once back. again, we're gonna have technical issues. Yeah. I do yeah. love the technical <laughs> issues though. So I really don't know how to, oh, Silky's on as well. Yay, hello Silky. We do feel like we can't seem to invite them on. Um, no there's technical. always something. Why wouldn't there be? Why so we think, be? personally, we need to be on the pages to go live and then invite people. Unless, guys, can you request to join the show because it's not letting us invite people. Yeah. But I'll keep trying. Jossie, keep modern talking about what's happening. Modern technology. Um, so another thing that um, I want to talk about, oh, right, okay, so things that I've just kind of seen going on in the news, and there was a story yesterday which, oh, it sickened me. So in America, um, there's this person who's been released from prison because they're transgender. Yeah, you heard that right. Transgender now is a get out of jail free card. What was that person's crime? That person molested and sexually assaulted children from the ages of 1 to 15, multiple victims. But because that person is now transitioning, they're no longer seen as a threat. Well, sorry, but that's like a big fuck you to all the victims. Like, how unfair. And it just makes me think that sometimes people think, oh, you're transgender, you can do whatever you want. When you see stories like that, it is so true. And the thing is, if just like show sure one, I'm sorry, I'm going to interrupt. Just like show sure one, we're going to have to do it on the phone. On the phone. Oh yay! So we do love this. So we're just going to go on. Hey, can't find an option. To request and invite. I agree. Either can we? It's completely annoyed us. So what I'll do is I'm going to video call yous so we can have yous on the show once again because we just love doing it this way. But we will figure it out for next time, of course. Uh, there's always something. There's always something, but it's fine. Um, I'm going to call Silky now, because we know she's in a different time zone. Should jo Jordan just hold your horses? Yes, But we'll get way. straight to you. Um, I'm going to give Silky a call now, and we'll do the interview like this. Yeah. Because this is how we like just, to roll. Just, you know, just the way we like to do it. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, Silky. We are so sorry. We've had, of course, technical difficulties again. Okay. But we are so happy to have you on the show, and we'd like to do the interview just like this because we have before, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. It will not let us request. Modern technology is not our friend. But we would love to start by welcoming you and celebrating you and how amazing you did on RuPaul's Drag Race. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Loved Thank it. You. You're too kind. And how do you feel, Silky, that you have came off from the show? Do you feel like it's given you the right image, of course, because you were so diverse and we felt you rocked the body confidence and we saw a beautiful side of you and how kind and humble you are to a lot of the people. But the editing kind of showed you in a different light. Do you feel like you've been misrepresented? Um, slightly. I, I can't be mad at the editing because everything that you saw on TV, I did it. I can't deny it. I didn't do it. Um, but at the very same time, um, I, it's, it's television, so they put our characteristics on steroids. Yeah. And so it, 
Couldn't it was remember. a bit much. <laughs> well, we felt that because we we saw so many different like because we, we are such RuPaul fans. And when watching you, you could see some. I almost saw sometimes what when it was ex exaggerated. You looked uncomfortable, and it, mm -hmm. it didn't seem like you. Mm -hmm. And I am living a beautiful life now. Absolutely. Yeah. Of the opportunity to um, just live and entertain, which I wanted to do, and I'm very fortunate to do. And so I, I just, I guess for me, I just moved past the show. Yeah, well. And straight onto yeah. a cookery show, as we've seen, is coming to your YouTube, YouTube channel soon. Yes, we will be putting the link for that in our YouTube. But could you tell us a little bit more about that, Silky? Like, we've watched it funny, so... <laughs> <laughs> um, well, my show is coming out. It should have been out by now, but unfortunately, I've ran into problems with editing, and so the editors are on it. It should be out within the next two weeks. And it's a show where I cook and make cocktails. Oh, and I have that's party important, party. isn't it? Because I love party food. Right, well, I'm sure I could learn loads from it because I am the worst cook in the world. Like, I only have a kitchen because it came with my house. So, if you can teach me something, Silky, thank you. <laughs> we will be watching. So, Silky, obviously, a lot of the RuPaul girls come to the UK. Will you be coming to the UK anytime this year? Um, I will. Um, I was in the UK last year. I performed at Heaven. Mm-hmm. Uh, back in last May. Yes. And there in August. Oh, fantastic. Brilliant. That is absolutely amazing. And do, what else are you up to? What What's happening in the, in the US for you? Is there anything that our fans should be looking out, out for? I am right now um, in the face of the editing and cookbook. Mm -hmm. And I am working on my cookbook. And I have been working on it for a year now. It's in the face of editing. I have a meeting, uh, another meeting. Um, this evening for it, and it's going to be out in May, so uh, LA Drag Con is when it will premiere, so May 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. Oh, wow, yeah. that's absolutely brilliant. So are you kind of taking a more direction into cookery and all things, everything you can eat, all you can drink kind of thing? Is that where you're, you're going at the moment? Um, absolutely. Um, I think being a RuPaul Drag Race is a dream, and I think that's why I've moved past it. Mm -hmm. Because if I just focus on the editing and whatnot, I won't be able to do the things that I've always dreamed of. And mm -hmm. I, I wanted RuPaul's Drag Race to be like the, the start of my career, not the highlight of it. Mm -hmm. and Love that. Yeah. So I'm like, right now I'm working on doing things that I wanted to do as a child. Mm -hmm. I always wanted to be on Food Network as a child. And so now I'm getting the opportunities to, um, where I'm actually consulting with Food mm -hmm. Network about the show. Um, so, you know, um, I'm just living my dream. Yeah, it's like um, you're taking control of what you want to do and where you want your career to go. That That's really cool to yeah. see. Like, that, that that's what more people should do. You should be in control and you should be represented how you want. So, I'm all for that. Yeah. Um. Absolutely. And so, before we let you go, what are you up to today, Silky? What is happening in a genuine day in Silky's life. What What's going on today? So today, um, for the last few days, I uh, went to college in Indiana, and that's where I started doing drag in Indiana, in Indianapolis. So I'm in Indianapolis today, uh, visiting my gay family, which everyone has gone to work now, and I've been doing work here um, until I just vlog off the show. Um, but I'm gonna, I leave tomorrow to go back home to LA. So today I'm gonna just enjoy my gay family, um, spread the love. I'm gonna go to dinner. Um, after this, I'm gonna go to lunch with my gay father. Tonight we're having uh, dinner with my sisters, all of my drag sisters. And um, that's what I'm doing. I, don't, I guess that's the one thing um, that I, I hate that wasn't showcased on, on television. Um, 
I'm a person that is really big on family. Mm-hmm. Um, family means a lot. I'm very fortunate to have my biological family still love and support me. And I'm very fortunate to have a gay family that love and support me. So I am very in tune with my family and I do a lot with them. So I'm happy that I was able to take a few days off, um, even though I've been working like crazy um, on my book and the, the cooking shop. But um, I'm happy to take a few days off and just enjoy my family and see, um, make them happy and proud and excited. Well, I, I have to say one thing. You are clearly making everybody, all of your family, very proud. And you make us proud. You were such an inspiration on the show. And everything that you've done after that has just really stood you out from everyone else. Mm-hmm. I like that you've walked your own path, made your own road, and decided where to go. I think rock on. Thanks for joining us today. Like You've been a great guest. Yes, thank you, so Once thank you. we get the technical difficulties sorted, we'll bring you on correctly, <laughs> um, maybe to talk about your book. And, of course, once the show hits um, YouTube, we'll be looking and watching about that. Yeah, can't wait for it. Thank you. No problem. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bless. We love technical difficulties, don't we? <laughs> Well, oh, that was then. Silky on my phone. <laughs> yes, just casually ringing Silky. Of now. course, but you know, feel free to video call me. Yes, John, we will. I do yes. hate the fact that we've had a technical difficulty. Oh, it's fine. We can just get But it is fine. It. Um, so I love how Silky has, boom, her own direction. Oh, yeah. She knows what she wants to do and fair play to us. So good on you, girl. She embraces you, what's, girl. She's embracing what's good. And also, kind of what's bad. Well, yeah, you know, that that's just life, isn't it? Like, in everything you do, there's good and there's bad. Um, we're going to so go to Jordan soon. I'm just going to do go some to socials. Soon. Right, okay, all oh, right, okay, so we're going to go back to Let's Raina. do What's the Tea? I was just going <gasps> to go on to What's that. the Tea is so much fun. She's got no tea in her cup. No, it's a frog. <laughs> <laughs> what is the tea? Where's the tea more like? Right, okay. So yeah, what's the tea, Jessie? So I'm going to do social tea? tea. So, well, we've just had Silky on um, from RuPaul's Drag Race, and RuPaul has been in the media quite recently. And it's not been good. Because oh, they're all just <clears throat> desperate, so, desperate women. RuPaul has been compared to Hitler and the Antichrist. Yeah, RuPaul, the drag queen on TV, has been compared to somebody who killed millions of people Summer. and Satan's son himself. Do you know why? Because in this series of Drag Race, there is no transgender drag queens. It's not all about us, right? It is Sometimes such a it's not all about us. And he has had trans people on the show before at various Lord? points of their transition. And he has supported way back when Monica Beverly Hills came out on the runway and instead of saying, well, you can't be in it anymore. RuPaul was like, we will support you, we are a, are a family. And she continued in the competition. Yeah, she was booted off the next week. But still, fair play to her. And we've had Peppermint recently. And Gia Gunn was in All Stars, Gia Gunn. So, you, sorry, I, just, I, I don't buy it. I do not buy for one second that RuPaul is transphobic. Yes, there is many forms of drag, but there's never been a drag king on. There's never been a... To my knowledge, or this season, there's nobody with a disability. Um, there's just there's so many things that I, I could point out and say, well, there's not this, there's not that. But for some reason, because there's no trans person on it, it's the worst thing in the world. Cancel RuPaul. Do you know what? Cancel cancel culture. Oh, right. I think people need, need to <laughs> chill out about that. I'm back, by the way. I'm just doing whatever sauce I need to do. We're going to invite Jordan to join us on the phone, and I'm so annoyed. You know what? We never do this, right? But if someone understands this bloody technology more than I bloody used to be a boy, so I should know all about this stuff. God, it's definitely not a man's world or a woman's bloody world. Um, if anyone knows why this is happening, we need yeah, you. Yeah. We he's, need he's you. He's getting tough. We've kind of got everything else, but this whole thing is just doing our head in. I think we're going like, to maybe even just get a better lens for the laptop or something. Yeah. So, thank you, and I'm going to ring. We're going to ring Jordan. Just Yay. like we did, believe it or not, Jordan was our first guest. Yeah. On the first show. Two years ago, Two years almost ago. to the day. 
Two years that to is the bizarre. Day. That is bizarre. But we're gonna ring her because we're desperate. Yeah. <laughs> oh. And it'll answer, and then she'll be able to see us. Hello. How are you? It's a bit quiet. Can you turn it up? I think it's a bit louder. That always works as yeah, well. Yeah, that's what she does. <laughs> so, welcome to the show. You, you can't, I can't believe it. You were our first guest on our actual show when we first ever launched it, you know. I remember, uh, and your house looked just as comfortable as it did that first time. I wish I was there with you guys. Well, I... Uh, you know what? We wish you were here as well because then we could actually have you yeah. on the show properly and this technical issue is just driving us insane but it wouldn't be our show without it. Yeah, we just continue. So. Let's firstly congratulate you on Transaction. Thank you so much. I'm really, really happy that it's gotten such a wonderful response from like our communities but also the people that like comedy. Yeah. We think it's, yeah, it's groundbreaking. Yeah. We think it's relevant current a little bit over the line for the comedy side of it and i think that's what makes us yeah. happy about it because you haven't stayed in the lines it's almost when you do like scribbling at school and they're like don't color outside the mm -hmm. lines you literally colored outside every goddamn mm -hmm. line ever and i think that is so important and has made it probably okay to laugh at ourselves again which yeah. we really needed yeah, yeah, yeah. We we agree with that. And the other thing as well for a comedy, it's funny. Comedy needs to be funny, so <laughs> love it. Thank you. It was important that it was like a comedy that was like relatable to people that like comedy. Yeah. Because I think that's really important. Yeah. Well, sometimes, so sometimes I kind of feel that when you're out there as a trans person, you almost become the poster girl or the poster boy for all things trans. Has that happened to you? Which I'm assuming it probably has in some way. And how, how do you kind of deal with that? Because like, if, if it was me, I would just be like, I'm just me. Like, I'm just me, I can only represent myself. That's exactly it. I would get really bored of being um, the poster girl or either very, or sexually Oh God, yeah, so much. Do you feel okay almost being the, without intentionally becoming, but the poster girl for a trans comedian? So I, I, I almost disagree with you on that one. You are not not the typical because 
I almost, if I haven't got my makeup on, my hair's scrunched back. Yeah. yeah I wear I hoodies, I wear joggers. And that's what I love. I've always kind of loved about you is you literally just do you, mm -hmm. which is, I mean, we're on this show, we've got our makeup on, we're just trying to be like a little bit professional. But if I could just have my hair scrunched back and have no makeup on with a cigarette in my mouth, I'd be happier. Yeah, yeah. But we want to make it a little bit pretty, so we <laughs> thought we'd put a bit of makeup on. But what we love about you is you keep it real like almost every single hour of the day. You don't hide yourself, you don't lie, you don't almost follow the current what's it like to be cool this week. You just do you. Mm -hmm. And you almost say like, oh, I'm not the typical trans person. But you, you kind of are in my eyes because you just look like Jordan Gray, the girl who smashed The Voice and is now smashing comedy. Like, super duper love that. But, but, but for the outside world, yeah, we are almost the, the, the like, that's what a trans person should be. And we almost yeah. sometimes hate that because we've had people like not believe us that we're trans and stuff because we almost, when we haven't got makeup on, we're just like, they're like, oh, you just blend in. And what we hate about that and actually love the fact that you just embrace is you don't really give a fuck if they say you're trans, they want to know you're trans. As long as they're like, hi, Jordan, you're all right. You just embrace them. And I think that's a really kind of positive message that you're able to transcend across all of your kind of social medias and followers. And I think that's really powerful. Mm -hmm. It is. Thank you so much for saying that. That, that means a lot. And I think it's something if you make your whole life about being transgender and then somebody gets on that, of course it's going to hurt a lot more. Um, I found that the kind of transgender people that do that Maybe I'm not going to enjoy my show uh, because I'm taking the mystery out of out of certain aspects of this experience. And if you make your whole life about that, and then somebody has a little post, it, I think it, it, it can cut you deeper, doesn't it? But really, we all just trying to get on with our life. Mm -hmm. We almost um, think you are the woman version of Little Britain. Yeah. You say what they almost touched on in their series. And you just see it how it is. And it's mm -hmm. nice to have that back because it's okay to laugh at yourself. Yeah. It's okay to find humour in some things you found difficult. Because if you're not, you're going to be an awful, sensitive, angry person if you can't just okay. laugh at things. You know what I mean? Like, it needs to be a little bit more lighthearted. And I yeah. think you just do that perfect. Mm -hmm. It definitely needs to be authentic. If that's the only thing, if you're going to make jokes, then they should at least come from an authentic place. So uh, we touched on all different themes in trans actions, transgender, race and disabilities, but they're all real stories from real people and real actors, like I am a trans woman playing a trans woman, for example. Um, and I think that, that's the thing. Maybe there's, there's some great comedians out there that do really funny transgender jokes that get uh, picked on or, or sort of targeted. I think so long as the joke's good, I think it, I, I, I should take it as quite a compliment that the comedian works really hard in a good transgender show. But um, if you're going to make a show like this, then you know, it needs to come from an authentic place. Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, but I suppose in some respect, it's uh, it. It's looking at it humour that could be seen as offensive and where do you draw the line? Like, I'm, I'm not a comedian, I'm so bad at telling jokes that I wouldn't know, but like, I'm kind of interested in that, like, when you are telling a joke, where do you just draw that line? Like, where does it cross over to where it's not funny anymore? You know what's amazing about comedy is that it's decided for you by the old because if you laugh at something, that's it. Uh -huh. If you laugh, then you can laugh. So if I have told a joke that's got nothing, no laughter, I might never tell it again. Um, I never want to intentionally hurt people, but uh, it's okay to have a little poke around. I think it, it almost brings us together. If a friend of mine makes a transgender joke that really, really makes me laugh, I feel close to them because it means that they understand me on a deeper level. So without trying to hurt everybody, I will, I'll think you can make those laughs anything and everything. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's like you just you'll be indiscriminate, just indiscriminate. Everybody, you know, it it, it that's the thing as well. It's comedy. It's humor, and it's not always meant to be taken seriously. 
that is that's yeah. how I've always interpreted it. So, like, yeah. as an example, these great notes. Not only are they offensive, they're boring now. They're rubbish. Don't do them. Like, well, like white you don't need racy coats to rock. Um, there was a time in history where white people felt like they needed to portray racist jokes on TV to help them understand it, etc. And it got old very quickly. Nowadays, you wouldn't just be offensive, it would be rubbish. You know, like, comedy is supposed to help us get through hard times. So there's no point in punching it down. Uh, do you not think well I, I i think i i think i know you already do agree do you not think that in 2020 the world is just getting more sensitive and more like agitated about every little thing that's done and said and i just think I just think that paints a really bad picture for anyone coming to transition or coming to identify as anything they want to. I think it, it comes across as a scary place to live and grow up in because everyone's almost so sensitive and making a big deal out of anything they can to almost sometimes feel relevant. I'm not saying that's all the cases, but sometimes just to almost feel like part of the gang. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it probably feels like the world is getting more uh, sensitive and scared of each other because that's the uh, that's what our phones are showing us specifically. I don't mean ever, I mean literally us, transgender people. We are, um, you know, and anyone of any minority group, we're fed information that says that that's happening because that makes us go on to our computers and say that's not right and someone else can say yes it is and then we say no it's not and the only people benefiting from that are social media companies. So, it's a really ironic vicious cycle. I think the average person is no more sensitive than they ever were, except about the fact that every time we log on, we have to see arguments from these people, and we're getting annoyed for people seem to be getting more sensitive. So I think there's truth to it, that um, it's certainly in everyone's mind that people are being more sensitive, and maybe that's a self-fulfilling prophecy. But if you walk outside, you know, I've, no, no one's been any different to me. Like, uh, maybe it depends how much time you spend on your phone. Because the world yeah. you get on your phone is not the same as the world outside. Yeah, but it's the real world. The real world is fine. I think it's the world of the internet. The world of the internet, you, you just have to say the, the wrong thing once and then that's it, you're cancelled. Yeah. I, I hate cancel culture. You're cancelled, you're done. And it's like, really? Like, really? So Transaction, yeah. Transaction Episode 2 is on tonight. Can we get an exclusive on once transactions finished? Is there more coming? Is it going to be made into a full length half an hour episodes? Please let that happen with 10 episodes. <laughs> is that going to happen? <laughs> well, the, uh, the hot point is that, um, and it seems to be going this way, is enough people like it and share it and enjoy it in comedy centers. So this is a no brainer. Yes, that is so That's good, Jordan. Cool. That is so good. Yeah, I'm really happy. Uh, but for now, yeah, I mean, half a million views in a week is mad. I mean, that, that's really, really, really crazy. Well, we're only at 4,000 views on this live video right now, so... <laughs> <laughs> We've got a way to go. We've got a way to go. But yeah, Jordan, I do see... And I, I said this when I first ever saw you on The Voice. Oh, she's going to change everything. It's going to be yeah, great. Yeah. So this is who, this is what we've been waiting for. And now, two years later, you're just about to just change everything a little bit more. And we just want to congratulate you and tell you, like, not just be proud of yourself, but we're fucking proud of you. And we can't wait to have you back on the show, which we definitely will. Yeah, hopefully with, like... Hopefully with these technical works. issues sorted, but we just we just want to wish you the best and let you know that you are absolutely rocking it and any yeah. doubters out there or any haters, you know what, next please, shut up. Exactly. That would be the yeah. best thing ever. I will be messaging <laughs> about that right now. Oh, and by the way, before you do go, how was the panto? Hard. It was a good laugh and it gets better every year, but I had to be the villain this year. 
That would have been harder. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that is really good. So, we did actually have one question that I've just, I forgot about, but someone on our Instagram story asked and said that she's mid-transition, um, she really wants to get into comedy slash acting. How, how easy is it? Did you find it easy? We replied, of course, with our opinion, but she, it was directed at you, and she just, she was wondering, how hard is it to realistically get into this career as a trans person? Oh yes, yeah. agreed. We agree with that. If you if you're going through a process where you're figuring out who you are, and then you've also got to perform, it's going to be difficult. So uh, you know, take time for yourself before making any big decisions. But um, you know, it, it should be separate. Like it really should. I I, I think of myself as a performer first, and, and a trans person second. I think that's probably the only advice I can give. And we're all different. So if you figure out, you've definitely lived a life a lot like us and had been like Faye first or Jossie first or Jordan first. And I think that's amazing and definitely should be in the media more oh, that yeah, people are just doing well. there. Mm -hmm. But before you do go, are you up in Newcastle anytime soon? Okay, well, we're going to hold you to it. We're going to turn Jordan around so we can say bye. Uh -huh. We're going to hold you to it. You're going to come and sit yeah, on my comfy sit, sofa yeah. and we're going to do a proper full-on interview. Okay, girl? Right. Thank you so much for joining us once again. Everyone say bye to Jordan. Bye, bye Jordan. Bye. I love Jordan. This is great. Yeah. So technical so difficulties technical again, difficulties. as again. always. But we just want to say thank you to our guests. We are going to, in some way, try and sort this technical issue out. But someone let us know. There's obviously a way to sort it out. We just don't know how to do it, which is yeah. boiling my bloody pee. Yeah, we will figure it out, though. But yeah. Before we go, we want to let you know that we have a YouTube channel. Please subscribe, yes, please, please like, subscribe. please share, and all that stuff. And don't forget to watch Transactions soon. Mm -hmm. And on I'm very excited about Silky's Silky. tour in August. Yeah, yeah. Um, we'll definitely be there. Hopefully we'll be able to chat to her in person. Do you know what? Maybe we... That's it. Maybe that's it. The Everyone just to needs to fly here. over to our house yeah, and we'll yeah. do the guests. Come over here. There we go. That's the problem solved. We have so much more <laughs> things happening this year. Mm -hmm. And we want to tell you before we leave because it's really important. We have like four to five new episodes going out every week. Some pre-recorded, some live. And they are going to be on our YouTube. YouTube. We will share the link obviously on Facebook mm -hmm. so you guys can all see it. We're also really excited to have a very, very exciting guest next Ooh, week. In so fact, so two. No, we're not announcing it. No, we're not announcing it. No. Okay. But, you know, we're going to be green. Do you get the reference? Oh, I got the reference. Did you, <gasps> Did get, you get the, the reference? reference? But I can't say anything else. No, 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 she can't. Um, and also, I just want to say thanks, guys. Because we're back and we're, back. we're yeah. getting, like, you know, views and stuff. And we really appreciate if you can share. And we want to hear more from you guys. Because we just talk about whatever we want to talk about. But it would be good to talk about what you guys want us to talk yeah, about. Yeah. And dive into and some of the things yeah. you don't understand. Guaranteed to have an opinion. I always have an opinion. <laughs> Guaranteed to About have an everything. Uh -huh. I'm... Is, is there anything left? Because I think there's more to talk about. And I think you should be letting them know. Um, While I do socials. So we touched upon um, mental health at the start of the show. Um, and the start of the last year as well. And, the, and well, we did a special. Um, and I'm sure we would probably do another special in a, in a few months' time, maybe, or a few weeks. Because um, it's always really interesting for, for people to talk and for people to share stories. Um, one thing that we're really in favour of is the um, is ITV, Get Britain Talking. <gasps> yes, you remembered! 
Oh, I love it. This is why, because I may be the gob, but she is the mastermind behind it, laddie. So go ahead. So this is a, a national campaign on ITV where it's just getting people talking. They did it last year, and I'll admit, when it first came out last year, I did think, oh, are they not just making this into a little bit of a trend? Mental health is not a trend. I just want to say that. But is ITV just kind of like, this is what people are Jumping talking on about? Jumping the bandwagon. But... They've continued it, continued it this year, so fair play to them. So I will say this again: talk about it. Just talk. Talk about to it. each other. Talk to whoever's each other. Whoever's viewing now and whoever is chatting, like if you're with a group of people, like talk to them, because there isn't enough communication, and we can't talk for. Well, I probably could. But she could talk forever. So we're gonna have a few <laughs> moments silence before we go. We will pop back on, obviously, yeah. and say bye. But let's just have a little bit of silence while you guys chat. They're gonna show show socials and stuff. I can't believe the lives didn't work. That's must be why we are. Right. And we're probably going to do that on more shows because I think it's very important for everyone to realise mm -hmm. it takes out a couple of moments to just ask, how are you doing? Exactly. And then another no, 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 no. important point. How are you doing? How am I doing? Never had any complaints. Good. Kind of that made no yeah, sense, made but no okay. Sense. <laughs> so thank you guys for joining us. Check us out on YouTube. This video will be on YouTube with some other links to our shows. And hopefully someone will help us with the technical yeah. issues. Yeah. Like, it's so but other irritating. Than that, it's been absolutely great. I've been... I was gonna say, <laughs> she's been feeling me. I've been Jossie. She's What's been that off? And you have been fucking fantastic. Thanks, guys. Shoot. See you Bye. later. I'll just do my technical okay, thing. Yeah, she's gonna turn it off now. Bye.